today I'm going to show you how to paint fireworks and I'm going to start by wetting a large piece of white watercolor paper and you want it pretty wet because you want your paint to flow. I'm going to show you a couple techniques today but the first one is going to take a couple steps and I think it will give us a really nice result. I'm going to use very very bright color and I'm going to splash it onto my paper randomly. I just basically want to fill up this paper <coughs> with color. Some yellow there, some lighter blue, Get some nice bright bright red, some crimson here. You want all those bright firework colors. You want it wet so the paint will uh, spread, but we don't want our colors to mix up and get muddy. So keep in mind not to let your colors get brown as you're mixing them up. You get a little brown up there, but not too worried about that. Fill up the whole paper. You can cut it up later to use on cards and what have you. Maybe some purple because fireworks of all sorts of colors. This will be perfect for your scrapbook pages from the 4th of July. I should have got this done earlier, but this will be just fine. You want to cover the entire paper. You can even uh, sprinkle on some water to get some interesting shapes going. And a little more yellow here. Alright, now we just need to let that dry before we go on to the next step. While that's drying, I thought I'd show you another technique to make fireworks. I'm going to start by just spraying my paper with some color. Some green in there. I actually thought that was yellow. And I'm going to drop in some orangey yellow colors. Basically because I have a card that I know I want to use these colors with. These are kind of unusual fireworks colors. You need to just get some really um, juicy wet drops of color. And I'm just using colors that I know um, I want for a particular card. Make kind of firework shape um, blobs. You want to blow straight down on the paper through the straw and you'll get little bursts of color. You can grab some salt, since we're in the kitchen I have it handy. And when that dries you'll get little bursts of white within the firework kind of burst. So that's just another neat little technique you can do. We'll be back with the first technique in just a second and I'll show you how to finish that one up. While we're at it, why don't we just try the same thing with glossy paper and alcohol ink. Just going to put a couple drops. The effect is a little more bold the fewer colors you have. And you can build as you go. They can overlap a little bit too. there. You can keep overlapping it until you get as much color or as little color as you want. Alright, the next step on the big sheet that we've watercolored is to get some masking fluid. And when you open it up, you want to stir it, not shake it, or you'll get bubbles all through it. And um, I'm using Windsor Newton Colorless Art Masking Fluid. And I am just going to shake a bunch of this onto my paper. 
This dries really slowly, so you don't have to worry about it drying too fast on you. Um, I don't use a brush if I don't have to on this stuff because it can ruin a brush if it's left to dry. This is basically like a liquid rubber and um, it even smells kind of rubbery. And uh, if it dries in your brush, it will ruin your brush. So be careful not to let it dry on any of your brushes. And now I'm going to use my straw again and just blow on the blobs to sprinkle them out as little fireworks. to see uh, how this looks on camera but let me make a nice big blob here and um, blow that one and then you can check it out now let me zoom in on that and maybe you can see it pretty well all right you see that now when that dries we're going to paint over that and then we'll only see the color underneath where our masking fluid has been so it's a really really cool effect uh, that beep you just heard was my microwave in the background i'm currently also making lunch so i'm a multitasker all right be back in a moment and we'll finish this one up okay the masking fluid is dry it's important to let it dry all the way before you go on to this step um, but you don't want to speed it up with a hair dryer because that will um, burn the masking fluid into your paper and it will be no good I've got a little uh, ultramarine blue on my brush, and I'm also mixed up a little Payne's Gray. And um, I'm just using it straight from the tube with water added, because um, for one, I don't put Payne's Gray on my palette, because I don't paint with black or gray. But uh, this came in the kit once, so it's perfect for this. And you want really juicy paint, and just paint over your masking fluid. You can see your fireworks coming to life. You're going to be removing the masking fluid though um, when this paint dries. You don't want to keep the masking fluid on your paper. It's not like embossing powder. It will ruin your paper eventually um, because the um, masking fluid is not acid free. That was my dog that just parked. Um, it's not acid free so it'll make your paper turn yellow and brittle after a while and then you won't be able to remove it. So you just want it on as you're doing this effect and you want to remove it as soon as the paper dries. You could probably leave it on for as long as two weeks, but after that, you're really going to damage your paper. You want to make it pretty dark because um, it's going to dry lighter. All watercolor dries lighter. And if you want to add in some other blues, go right ahead. I can look out out here so I can add in some more blue if I want. I want to keep it darker toward the top just because that's usually how skies look. They're lighter towards the horizon. And I plan on using this um, as a background on the scrapbook page, so I want to make sure I have a um, nice rich color and that the top's a little bit darker than the bottom. All right, now we're going to let this dry, and I'll be back in a minute to show you what it looks like after we remove the masking fluid. Okay, here we have the finished paper. I have rubbed off the masking fluid. You simply just rub it with your thumb and it will come right off. Uh, you can get a rubber cement pickup, which looks like a large eraser, if you um, need a little help removing the masking fluid. But there you go, it brushes right off, and you have a very fireworky looking paper. I think that looks superb. Um, to look at the other papers we did, they're all dry. This one um, was the one that we did with the um, watercolors, and we sprayed some glimmer mist, and um, we also sprinkled some salt. You can see the salt area is right there. It gives you a nice um, a speckly look. Also, we have our alcohol ink on glossy paper. I also brushed a little watercolor over it just to get rid of the white. I thought it looked a little too stark. But there you have it. There are many ways you can achieve the firework look on your cards and scrapbook pages. Lots of different things to try. Have fun watercoloring!